Okie dokie. Second and third examples for this problem. I will work it out much, much faster. If you'd like more of a breakdown, please visit the first example. I will simultaneously sort of be using the shortcut that I talked about in the first video. So again, feel free to check that out. So what we do is, uh, so uh, in this problem, we are given four power functions down here, and we are uh, technically, uh, they expect you to find the derivative of each uh, function, plug in x equals 1 for all of them, and see which one equals negative 7 tenths. What we'll do instead is just practice rewriting all these functions as x to the a power, because that's the first step for how we would go about finding the derivatives of each of these functions. So starting with the first one, if we had to rewrite 1 over x to the 7 tenths as x raised to some power, bringing that x term from the denominator out of the denominator would give us x to the negative 7 over 10. So that's the purpose of negative exponents. So if it's positive 7 tenths in the denominator, once it's out of the denominator, it becomes negative. So we have x to the negative 7 tenths. Let's go ahead and rewrite these other ones, even though we might see our answer already. All right. Uh, so for this one, we may do it in a couple steps for this one. So uh, we have in the denominator, taking care of the sixth root, we get 1 over x to the 8 over 6. And then using negative exponents, we could rewrite that as x to the negative 8 sixth. All right, keeping it moving. x to the a here. Let's go ahead and do this one in two steps as well. 1 over x to the negative 2 fifths. Again, whatever the root is becomes our denominator in each case. And then if we rewrite 1 over x to the negative 2 fifths, that x comes up top and the exponent becomes positive. And the last one, 1 over x to the negative 1 is equivalent to x to the positive 1 if we bring that x out of the denominator. So really it's just x. So we look at these exponents, these a values, and we see which one of these a values matches our desired value, so negative 7 tenths, and that is option A. So that is the shortcut for this one. It's just rewrite all the functions and see which one has the exponent that matches our answer. All right, let's go and do one more even faster. We're looking for 4 as our value. And so when we look at this, let's rewrite each of them. We have x to the 1 fourth, x to the negative 8, 1 over x to the 4 over 6, which is x to the negative 4 sixth. And this last one, the square root is like having a 2 on the outside of the root. So it would be x to the 8 over 2 and 8 over 2 is equal to 4. And so because 4 is the exponent of the rewritten version of this function, that means d is our answer because 4 matches that 4 there. So we break out the eraser to see that d is our answer. If you have any questions, please let me know.